Hi, let's see how to make the XRDP connection more secure using the SSH tunnel. First, you have to have the XRDP server installed and functional on your Linux machine. If not, please watch my video dedicated for that. The video link, you will find it below in my description. After, if you fully succeed to install the XRDP server and it is functioning normal, then you have to install the SSH server. After installation, add the port 22 to the firewall. Now is the time to enforce the SSH connection by editing the xrdp.ini file. Search for the line, port equal to 3389, and please, modify it like here. Next it is need, to restart the XRDP server to reload the modified any file. If you've did all this remotely, through XRDP connection, like me then you should be careful, because the connection will automatically be closed, and you will no longer have access to your remote Linux machine, like before. I recommend you to do all this, luckily, on your Linux PC, and not remotely. As you see, my connection was closed after restarting the XRDP server. Now it is the time to switch to Windows PC. As you can see, the remote desktop connection is no longer working like before. First you have to have PuTTY on your Windows PC. I have downloaded from internet, it is free and also portable if you want. I have a portable version. Let's configure the PuTTY. First in the session category, at host name, put the IP address of your Linux machine. Then in the connection category go to SSH, Tunnel, and put the source port, one that you know it is free, in my case 5555, after put the destination like here and press add. Now go back to session category and add a name for your connection. When the connection appears, accept it and log in there with your Linux credentials. Next, go to Remote Desktop and enter the following information. If everything is configured correctly and process has been followed accordingly, the XRDP login page will be displayed and you will be prompted for a username and a password. Use same user and password like for SSH connection. If your credentials are correct, you will be able to access your Linux Mint desktop through remote desktop software. You should be aware that I have not made any settings for SSH connection on Linux PC. All the settings were the default one, so to have a very strong protection then the SSH server should be configured also. In the next videos I will show you how. If this method worked for you, please give a like and subscribe to my channel for next useful videos of how to do it in Linux Mint. Thank you for watching.